Hi. In past uh, episodes, we have talked about uh, defining and measuring achieving basic service brilliance metrics um, to allow us to go out and say, hey, wait a minute, I don't just get last look to meet the price, I get last look at an extra point for me, the rep, and my service horse, because of what we're doing, we're, we're actually lowering your total procurement cost uh, elements, we're improving your uptime more than the price has gone up. So it's, it's, we're a bargain at a higher price. Um, what I've done here is to try to, well, I've, I've, I've borrowed a, an old slide from somebody so far, long ago, I can't remember where I borrowed it from, back in the mid to late 80s, and I've modified it. This is called service retention economics, but I've put niche in front. And the reason I did that is when we go out to call on a customer, imagine we talk about getting the total team focused on the five most profitable core accounts, the five most important target accounts, the five biggest losers, the team wouldn't focus on, you know, inside service people, frontline service people wouldn't be focusing on the losers uh, as much as the, the management would to sort of figure out what, what the structural cause of the loss is and, 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 and transform that to a win-win relationship for both partners. But certainly on the five core and the five target accounts, if everybody in the warehouse and in the trucks and inside sales and, you know, receivables and everywhere else, whoever might talk to a customer knows who these, these, these 10 customers are at a given branch, then the effort we put into trying to get business from an account, or let's say we already have business, so we're enjoying this amount of business, whether it be a target or core, because we're giving them the the the, the yes heroic activity act, action service, uh, unconditional guaranteed you know hyper extra services in a sense that the average customer's not getting. In theory, what would happen? We're so easy to do business with over time, our share of that customer would increase. Um, now. The, we might still be in the transactional game where we're the number one share player, but we're still sharing the account with you know one or other one or one or other or or more uh, competitors, so that the the customer can can still play the here's last look game. Now, when they play the last look game, we we're going to say yeah, but that's that's why I get last look plus one point for me and pl a point for the horse. And that's when the customer goes, well, okay, I intellectually understand that you are a best value and, and I've rewarded that, but you know, I, I, I'm sorry, I just, I'm still having an emotional problem on paying too high a price. So that's when we say, well, look, you can actually have great service and lower price if you want to choose the partner path, but we've got to get out of this bid, bark and buy thing. So if you just give us all the business and you would be inclined to think about doing that because we're so reliable, you know, it's going to improve your uptime economics and so forth to, to give us all the business. Then what we can do is, is, is work to tune the relationship and continually work on our cost to serve. If we get our cost to serve down, then we can share that savings with you in the form of a lower price. So what happens is our, our volume jumps quite a bit. You know, it might go from here, it might double, triple, you know, go much higher. Um, we'll actually make good or even better money because our operational cost savings will drop more um, than the margin percent. And then the customer is so excited and happy that they're doing business with us that they'll tell their friends, hey, you know, you got to do business or marry these guys. I did. It's been great. Often what you find in industries is a key person might leave one of your customers and go work for another customer and they drag you into that account. But this is sort of a, a, a you know, a patient long term. We're not going to lose any customers. We're just going to keep them. Whereas the competition may inadvertently make a mistake and a customer switches to us. But once they switch to us, they don't leave because we're so consistently good. So we'll come back and, and, and look at winning on positive turnovers, as I call it, uh, in other episodes in the future. Thank you.